The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. <clears throat> Jesus says to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who, like, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father, who sees what is hidden, will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I went to Catholic University in Washington, D.C. to study theology, and during our orientation time, they took us on a tour of the city, and one of the spots they showed us was Embassy Row. It's a place in Northwest Washington, and most countries have their embassies in that area. An embassy is considered part of the country it represents. When you enter an embassy, it is as though you are entering that country, and you are subject to their laws. The story is always told if you don't steal anything in the embassy of Saudi Arabia because the penalty was to have your hand cut off. So. An ambassador is an official representative of a country. They tend to be very cautious about their behavior, be what they do, because they don't want to cast a negative light on their country. Paul said we are ambassadors of Jesus Christ. Like an embassy belongs to a country, we belong to Jesus Christ. We were claimed by Jesus when we were baptized. We were signed with the cross. We were immersed in the waters of baptism. We died to one way of life and rose to new life in Jesus. We remind ourselves of that every time we come into church and dip our hands into the baptismal font and bless ourselves. As ambassadors, we represent Jesus Christ and continue his mission in our world. We represent Jesus by living his way. People know us. They know who we are. And they watch us to see, does our behavior fit with what we say we believe? Today we are reminded of all that with a sign that won't last very long. We are signed on our forehead with ashes, just as we were signed before we were baptized. We will hear the first word that Jesus spoke in the gospel. Repent. Repent means to turn around, to change your ways. Repent and believe in the gospel. Turn away from your old ways and follow the way of Jesus. Lent reminds us of the commitment we made in baptism, a commitment we will renew at Easter. We belong to Jesus, and we always will, and nothing will ever change that. Lent challenges us to make sure we are good ambassadors of Jesus. That we, and we are offered the practices of prayer, fasting and almsgiving 
to deepen that commitment. The cross on our forehead won't last very long. Mine usually doesn't survive taking off my vestments. But the way we live will last. Lent is a time for action, for living the way of Jesus Christ. It will show everyone who we are and whose we are.